Yeah, it's a good question. I think you have to separate AI and ML from the consumer perspective from the enterprise perspective like we do at Workday. I think in the consumer side, you see a lot of people going out and leveraging you know, AI and ML and chat B GPT. Uh, but at the same time, you can't do that in an enterprise platform like Workday has where we have all of this data. And it's much more costly to run and train your models than it would be for a consumer. At the same time, we do know the price curve always comes down on new technologies. And I expect that to happen around AI and ML. Um, but today, we at uh, Workday have taken that different approach, as I mentioned earlier, Mandy, where we've built AI and ML deep into the platform. What most companies are doing, because they haven't built it into the platform from day one, they're bolting it on. And that's a different approach. If you're in the enterprise space and you want to bolt on AI and ML, you do have to go pay for that and get that from one of the big hyperscalers, and that is costly right now. Um, what about ethical AI? Do we have much control over that? Or is there a point at uh, singularity, which whether we like it or not, will occur at some point in the future where we've kind of lost control? Yeah, it is something I think everyone is concerned about. And we're seeing many people talk about, will it be regulations around AI and ML? We take an approach here at Workday that everything we do is at the highest uh, ethical standards of our customers. We have our customers' most important data. That is their data around their people and their finance. We are a singular platform that supports our customers' most precious assets, their people and their money, and we have to always do that in an ethical way, and I think we've done a really good job and we will continue to do so in the future. If more regulations come in around AI and ML, we'll obviously have to adhere to them, uh, as is always the case. And the other thing I'd say is security. Uh, we have a very secure platform because of the data that we have of our customers. Uh, and it's something we are prideful of to make sure our customers feel like their data is secure with us and we're going to always treat it in the most ethical way for them. Very quickly, Carl, if data is the new oil, then do you fear that uh, US-China relations are going to stabilize or could they continue to deteriorate? You know, I don't know if I can predict the future of our relationship, Sri, with, with China. Um, you know, there's clearly tensions there. Yes. There's, there's things that will emerge in, in the future. Uh, but at Workday, we have limited exposure to any of that. Uh, okay. We don't have operations in China. We support customers in Hong Kong and, and uh, Taiwan. And then we have operations across APJ. Um, so we have less exposure to potentially some of those challenges. Uh, you know, our... Our motto is focus on our employees, focus on our customers, deliver an intelligent digital backbone to support your most critical assets, both your people and your finance, and drive productivity gains uh, leveraging the Workday platform. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.